whole thing seems. Thurston County Sheriff's deputies say a necropsy is being done tonight on Annie to find out exactly what happened to her. As you can see, she's a beautiful and sweet 28-year-old horse. She would come up to anyone until yesterday when she was found bleeding and missing her tongue. Well, this is Annie with her owner this evening right before she had to be euthanized because she couldn't swallow food and she would have starved. Deputies found her tongue in the pasture. She was mutilated sometime between 10.30 and 1 p.m. yesterday in the backyard of the home where she lives in the 9500 block of Bridge Road. There's no suspect description right now, and it's possible she caught her tongue on something and tore it, but there's no evidence of that. And until investigators know for sure, they're treating this as a case of animal cruelty. If she was abused, Posado Safe Haven, myself, and Crime Stoppers of the South Sound are joining forces to offer a $2,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest in this case. We don't know if the person or persons hopped the fence. We don't know how many people were involved. Um, at this point, there's a lot of unknowns that we're asking the public to help with. Deputy Nastansky says it would have taken three or four people to hold Annie down to cut out her tongue. If you have any information on this case, you can email the Thurston County Sheriff's deputy at the address on your screen, or you can submit an anonymous tip by using the P3 Tips app on your phone. If this is hard to jot down now, we've posted all of this information on our website, q13fox.com. And until the vet has the results of the necropsy tomorrow, they're continuing to investigate this as animal cruelty in the first degree. Yeah, in our state, that is a Class C felony. So whoever did it is mm -hmm. looking at up to a year in jail. And many would say that that penalty is just not severe enough for what happened here. Well, absolutely, Jamie. And the other strange thing that we just learned a little while ago is that about two months ago, and only a half mile away from there, uh, they found a sheep that was severely emaciated, and the sheep was still alive enclosed in a plastic bag mm. and two girls riding the horses found that and they have not identified the suspect in that case and so they're so close together they're looking to see whether these two cases of possible animal cruelty are linked all right we're going to stay tuned to this